Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a full review of the 10 cubic foot Gorilla Cart from Gorilla. Now I know you guys have all had a wagon in your lifetime, but this is a wagon on steroids and claims to hold 1,500 pounds. So if you're interested in seeing if it's truly that tough, stick around. Welcome back to the Working Dirt channel. We're going to get started reviewing this 10 cubic foot Gorilla Cart from Gorilla. Now the reason why I came upon buying this was because I had a huge job coming up for a landscape renovation along with the back of a house renovation. So I, I was going to be moving a bunch of material back and forth from the truck and I had a gate opening of the side yard that was about 50 inches to work with. So. I knew my wheelbarrow would work, but I was going to need more than just a wheelbarrow because I had concrete to move, dirt to move, bark to move, wood, I mean you name it. Uh, every type of material was going to be moved. Now the difference with this, when you have it full, having four tires, it's going to be stable. My wheelbarrow, when you're on muddy terrain and whatnot, it's always kind of shaky. So I, knew, I needed something a little bigger, a little more stable. And the other reason why I ended up deciding to buy this was because this being four feet long was going to allow to accept taking material out of the back of my truck into this and then ship to the back of the yard. Now the other option you can do is rent a ditch witch machine on tracks or something similar and those are very pricey and you got to time your job perfectly so that you can get the best use out of it and this job was going to take several months so um, because we had rain and whatnot so I decided let's try this out. So let's get into the specs. This thing says it's 10 cubic feet, which I believe it is. And it has 16 inch pneumatic tires. And these are your typical nylon tiber tires, uh, similar to uh, your tires on different wheelbarrows. But what I've come to find is that a lot of your tires are basically nylon, some nylon composition, but these are slightly better composition. Um, now I'll say I did read reviews and every once in a while there is a customer that got a bad tire but Gorilla backed their warranty and gave them a new tire or they were able to switch it out at Home Depot. Um, but other than that, these are a better grade of your nylon tires and 16 inches makes a huge difference because when you're rolling over, when you're rolling over rough terrain, it makes it a lot easier, especially when you have heavy loads. Now, the body is polymer and Gorilla is trying to make a name for themselves by making a very strong body so it hasn't cracked and in a video of how we showed to remove a concrete patio, we were throwing tons of concrete in here and there's some scratches and whatnot but it did not crack and we moved about 12,000 pounds of concrete. So that shows how tough it is. Now um, like I said, this thing claims to be able to hold 1,500 pounds. And while I believe it can hold 1,500 pounds, but I would not roll it with 1,500 pounds. It's, there is a weak point to it a little bit, but I would say on average, you, you can move 800 pounds uh, comfortably on it. And I think that's more than any person's about to move in this. We moved on average, our heavy loads are probably about five to 600 pounds with a full stack of manure, or bark or rock. Our rock probably was closer to 700 pounds. So uh, it was, it, it did its job. Now let's go, let's go into the performance side of things on this. So the pros to this car, which there are many, are the maneuverability is exceptionally great because it doesn't just turn a little bit or a lot. But it can almost do a reverse turn if that even makes sense. It can go kind of backwards and do beyond a 90 degree turn. So that is very help helpful. We were in a tight spot in the garden and we can maneuver very easily. So maneuverability for this 3x4 cart is great. Best, I mean, as good as it can get. Uh, now rigidity, this thing is tough. Like I said, there's, there's a little flexibility, but that comes to it being able to withstand all the the rocks and whatnot without cracking. So with that, you get a little flexibility. But, but um, the frame is rigid. As you can see here, it's a basic steel frame. There's no suspension components. And that is kind of a drawback because 
When you're on uneven ground, I would caution you, I mean, if you got a heavy, heavy load, try to go over your dips evenly and not like diagonally causing the frame to twist because there, it can't absorb it. There's no suspension, like I said. But for the price, you're not gonna get suspension. It's 200 bucks. So um, all you have is the back axle and then the pivot point right here. And that's gonna take all your torsion. So you don't wanna torque it too much. Dumpability, as you just saw, the dumpability, if that's even a word, is great. <laughs> Uh, it dumps easily, uh, but if you have a heavy load, I mean, you got to be reasonable. What we ended up doing when we had a bunch of rock was kind of shift a little of the rock a little more towards the back end, and then with a good little heave ho, you can get behind it, use your legs, and then dump, and it dumps really good. Now, what would have been nice is if the lip of the cart was completely rolled over and, and didn't catch the ground because when you try to grab it or slide it back it kind of scrapes the ground and it makes it a little hard but it's a small little issue and I'm sure they couldn't do it due to how the injection molded it so or vacuum molded whatever it was I think oh and then the handle I forgot so the handle is very pleasant to work with it's nice big it's strong it's sturdy so when you have a lot of weight you can really get both hands on to it and lean back and pull um, and you get a lot of leverage to be able to steer it because there's going to be a lot of weight in it and then by just pulling the pin you can have this handle turn around and then hook up to your little garden tractor you gotta take that pin out right there but you can turn it around and hook up to your garden tractor so that's like a two for one deal right there that is pretty sweet oh it does have some recessions in here where you can make like a little stake and put walls around it which I, I would imagine they might come out with something down the road and there's some spots where you put dividers in here but I mean you could use this thing for your camping gear to put all your kids in and haul them to the beach this thing has more than one use which is why I also purchased it the, the wheels also they have they are bearings it's not just bushings um, to be able to haul that weight you're gonna need bearings for sure. All right, on to the cons. Now I don't have many, only a couple, because I love this thing so much. But what I will say is that when you go to dump this cart, you end up dumping it on the ground, or in our case, we had to dump several times into a higher trough or whatnot, and so we had to lift it up and out. And when we did, um, we needed this to lock into position, which it does, but this thing would come around and hit us. So it would have been nice if there was like a pin, if you could pin it real quick so it's not flopping all over because we needed to get on the side and kind of lift it up and out. Um, but it's not a huge drawback. It would just be nice to add a pin. I might even add it. Um, and then the second thing is, if you're gonna be hauling a bunch of weight behind, behind an ATV or a tractor on a, on a constant daily or whatever. There's another YouTube out there, I forget his name, but he had brought it up and I had looked at it closely. Um, and it's that the pivot point is right here. So when, these, when this axle is going up and down, it's putting a lot of torsion on this little bar that is welded through this tube. And so what he had was a crack around here. So if you want it to be even stronger, then you'd have to cut out a piece of metal and put a thicker plate in there to reinforce it. But for most people who are going to use this for lightweight stuff and just to put their kids in, it's going to be more than strong. Um, and if you really need to haul a thousand pounds on a daily, then you should be getting a stronger cart. But for the few times you need to, this cart will do the job. And I'm highly impressed. It sells for about two to two twenty at Home Depot, and I think it's more than worth the price. I mean, two. I have to stress like 10 cubic feet of material for someone to move in a wheelbarrow they're going to be doing like two or three trips and this does it in one trip so you're going to save a lot of backache a lot of labor and uh, that means the savings in your pocket so so if you guys like this thing then you can purchase it using our link in the description below because your purchase helps our channel support veterans trails and charities each quarter we thank you for that so tune in to our other videos and until then keep working